Welcome back to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I am your host, Mr. Ben. Before we get started on the next actual episode, I wanted to take this time out to bring attention to some of the optional stuff that we could have done up to this point. There's quite a bit to go over in this particular episode, so I apologize if today's episode is a little bit shorter than usual. Anyway, let's get started. We first need to head off here to the Midas River course, because there's actually a couple of flowers we can get if we return here. By paying 30 coins, we can actually rerun this course as many times as we would like. And this is good, because every time we reach a certain number of coins, we actually get frog coins. And this minigame is probably the only real reliable source of getting them. By taking this entrance, we will see a particular cutscene of Mario spinning like a wash cycle through the river, as well as the various interactions of the beasts and the critters that inhabit Mario's world, with him getting one of two flowers at the end. Exiting the tunnel will drop us out here. And if we take the first available path to the right over here, we can actually enter into the second entrance, which will take us into another pathway where we receive the second flower. That's all for the Midas River, so let's move on. Our next stop is here, in Moleville. I actually forgot to check this particular house the last time we were here. This is where the fireworks are sold at. By speaking to this particular gentleman, we can actually buy one firework for 500 coins each. Unfortunately, we're a little strapped for cash at this point, so we can't really afford one just yet. We will want to buy at least one at some point. By entering it back into the mountain proper, you'll notice that the enemies that once plagued this place are no longer present. The thing of interest here, however, is that we will want to talk to the Molemen deeper inside. By talking to them, we can learn the Moleville Blues song. From here, we can bring the song back to Melody Bay and play it for Tavdowski in exchange for the tenor card. We'll have one more song that we'll need to play for him, however, we won't be getting that song for a while yet. We'll be heading to Booster Way next. By heading here, we can see that the button we pressed back in episode 12 opens an alternate path out here. This is where I got confused back when I was mistaking the Spookies for the Apprentice. This guy here really wants to become a Sniffin, and he'll only do so if he can beat Mario in a fight. The problem is, uh, we kinda kick ass, and the Apprentice goes down surprisingly easy. Once the Apprentice runs off, we can head to the end here where we can get up to three goodies at the end. There's really not much here, just a single frog coin, a caro caro cola, and a flower. However, if we want, we can let him win through abusing the goodie bag, and just not blocking any of his attacks, in addition to de-equipping all of our items and accessories. By returning back to this area, we'll find yet another apprentice who wants to become Sniffin 5. We 
can actually do this up to four more times after the first one, culminating in one who wants to become Snippet 8. If we stop in at the Rose Inn on the way to the next area, we can speak to Gaz's mother and find out that she'll let us stay in the Rose Inn for free. This is the only area of three, aside from Mario's pad, that we can reliably stay in without having to backtrack all the way there in case we need a quick heal. However, that's not the only reason I wanted to be here. I wanted to show off this. Waking up at the Rose Inn, we see a very special cameo. It's Link from Legend of Zelda. He's here taking us news. He also doesn't wake up no matter what you do to him. You can even jump on him all you like, and he won't do anything. That's really all there is to this particular place. If for whatever reason we retreat all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom at any point after Toastal joins our party, we can have a bit of a heartwarming scene with the princess and her grandmother. Also, if we go to check by what's by our fireplace, then Toadstool scolds, scolds us for being noisy. Heading back into the booster tower, we have two things to show off. We can see the knife guy juggling over here by the corner. By speaking to him, we can play a little minigame where we need to guess which hand the yellow ball is in. We can get some items for winning, most of them are junk. However, I was able to get a regular mushroom, a mid mushroom, and a max mushroom for winning. The true prize, however, that you win is the Bright Card, and this will allow us access to Great Guy's Casino later on. We really want to hold on to this because there is only one Bright Card in the entire game. If we toss it or sell it, we cannot get another one. If we head upstairs, we can meet the newly minted Sniffets. Unfortunately, the hopeful Sniffet 8 was not to be since Booster was one and only seven. Gino reached level 10 while I was out and about getting the stuff off, done off camera. Our final stop here is at the Booster Hill. There's really not much here for us, as Toad states, there's really not much anything but barrels that we can use to practice with. However, coming here is still a good idea for two reasons. The first reason is that there is a minigame that we will have access to later on that requires us to come back here, and I'll be going over that when the time comes. Secondly, and more importantly, is the fact we can get a grand total of four extra flowers for just climbing the hill. We'll only get a maximum of four here, and if you happen to miss one on the trek up, then you can simply just run the course as many times as you like until you nab them. With that out of the way, I think that does it here. That's pretty much all the bonus content up to this point. So, thank you all for joining me on this bonus episode of Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Next time we pick up where we left off, we really will be tackling the dark mysteries of the seaside town. See you all then.